This morning on Living Well, we are doing a two-week check-in. So if you missed a part one, let's catch you up right here. So this is Trish, and Trish is on a four-week fitness transformation to live a healthier lifestyle with her trainer, Alistair. So Trish, for those that might just be joining us, what was the original objective and goal for you? So my original goal was to fit into a pair of jeans that I haven't been able to fit into a long time. Two weeks now into it, has your goal evolved or changed? My goal has actually taken a turn towards maybe I should be healthier as opposed to just fitting into the jeans. And it should maybe be a lifelong goal instead of a two-week, I'm going to fit these jeans goal. Fair enough, fair enough. It, over these two weeks, what have been some of the biggest challenges for you that you kind of, or pitfalls that you're trying to avoid here? Some days, no motivation. Some days, what am I going to eat? Some days, what am I going to wear? It changes. Well, Alistair, let me ask you, you've been with Trish for the last two weeks here. What have you noticed from the beginning to where we are today? Um, you know, I've noticed that uh, consistency is, is a big thing for everyone. So Trish has been consistent with her 15-minute workouts. And a lot of people might say, hey, 15 minutes, not going to do anything. But hey, we got to start somewhere, and then we build on that. And, and Trish is getting results. She's feeling better as far as energy and her mood and getting better sleep. And those are all great things, right? And we do all these little things that take care of the big goals, right? Now that we're two weeks in, she's got another two weeks to go. What changes from your perspective in terms of the exercise aspect for her? So the biggest change is I'm, I don't want to take a big step, right? I don't want to just, you know, unmotivate her. So I'm just going to change some of the exercises within that 15 minutes to keep her interested as well as keep her body guessing. So we're continuing to get a little sore, getting some results. And then I'm going to push that envelope a little bit. Instead of 15 minutes is, is the max, we're going to go 15 to 20 minutes. So you could do 15, 16, 17 minutes sometimes. And that's just pushing that envelope just a little bit, not too much. Not unrealistic, right? We were chatting a little bit before we came on air over here talking a little bit about food and logging your food how important is it to keeping a food diary does it actually matter well the thing about keeping a food diary is whether you even actually know what the calories you're taking in is just to have that conscious effort to, to make the decisions like you know what I don't really need that extra piece of this or I can have this instead but still allow yourself to have some of those unhealthy foods but just having that conscious effort is a huge uh, change in the beginning for sure and Trisha, I want to ask you before we go, we were also chatting before, you told this really great story about you going to parties and what you would usually do and what you did. Can you just share with us a little bit about that? So I went to two parties this weekend with a lot of food options, all the best food, and I looked at it, and these options weren't appealing, the cupcakes, the cookies, whatever, it just wasn't appealing, so I ended up having carrots and some fruit and a, a piece of coconut cream pie, but I didn't have, like everything i just it just wasn't what i wanted anymore and was that a surprise to you did you feel like you were cheating yourself or what it was nothing that i was saying to myself no don't have that it was like that just doesn't look good that just doesn't look good and then it was like the carrots look okay <laughs> two weeks more to go you gonna stay on track i will i will yeah there you go you gotta tune in two weeks from now to the final results <laughs>